Hello and welcome. So we have drawn something in Fusion 360. We moved over to the manufacturing workspace. We made a setup. We made some tool paths. We've had an expert look at our tool paths and say, yes, these are the correct tools, correct speeds, correct depths for this machine and these materials. Then we right clicked on setup and said post process. And out of that, we got an NC file. We've put the NC file on a USB stick and now we're ready to move over to the machine. The machine looks like this. It is big and dangerous, so we make sure that there are no people nearby, there are no things in the way of it, that I am a safe distance from the machine, and then we're ready to turn it on. We turn it on down here by rotating the emergency stop button so it jumps out, and pressing the green start button. Now the controller is showing us that it's booting up. And now it's asking us, should we reference the machine? Should it go back to its zero position so it knows where it is? And the answer to that is yes, we do want that. So we look and we check there's nothing where the machine, there are no people nearby, because it's going to start moving as soon as we press OK. And then we press OK. And now the machine is moving. It's going to come to the corner, find all its home switches so it knows where it is after having been turned off. So now we're ready to tell the machine where do we actually want our, our workpiece to start. So grabbing the hand controller and I'm going to press Y plus which makes the machine move away from us. Then I'm going to press X plus. The labels the, the X's are actually labeled on the machine, if one forgets which is which. And then Z minus to go down a little bit. So now the machine is nearby a place where we could actually start cutting. I want to go a little bit further away, Y plus, Y plus, X minus a bit. And now I'm actually going to cheat. I'm going to take Z up a bit because I want to run my job in the air first for safety sake. So now I'm going to press the XY equals zero button and it's asking me clear XY coordinates. Do I actually want to set this as the new zero point, workpiece zero point of the machine? I click OK for yes I do. And then I also click Z equals zero. It will again ask me do you want to clear the current Z zero and set this as the new Z zero. And then also I'm going to take this uh, feed rate speed minus, turn it down to about 40%. So now I've done two things for safety. I have slowed the machine down to only 40% of what we're asking for and I'm also running this job up in the air. Next thing to do is put on my safety glasses and my earmuffs. Take my USB stick, insert it in the USB plug of the machine. Now in a little while the controller will ask me, do you want, oh it's found a USB disk, do I want to scan it? Okay, so I want to scan it. And I have a, a folder in there called NC, I press OK to go in there, I go down to Nicholas Test 02 NC, I press OK to mark it and then I press 1 to load it. Now that program is loaded. If I press play, it will start running that program immediately. So we're ready to do our test because we're going to do this up in the air and we're doing it only 40% speed, so it should be reasonably safe. I have my earmuffs on, my safety glasses on. There's no way in, no one near the machine. So I press the play button. And I'm ready here. The nice thing about this controller is it has the emergency stop button on it, so you can just push it if anything bad happens. So now the machine is moving away from us, so why is it doing that? It's doing that because the first operation was a drilling operation. So it's going to leave behind the 3mm end mill and pick up the, uh, the 2.5mm drill. So now the brush has gone down and the spindle has started. And so you can better see what's happening, I'm going to press the K2 button which lifts the brush up so we can see what's going on better. So now it thinks it's drilling our one hole. It's actually drilling it up in the air. Now spinning the spindle down, 
preparation for changing the tool. It's now moving away from us. to leave the drill and pick up the three millimeter end mill. Now it's lowered the brush. Again, I'm gonna press K2 to raise the brush so we can better see what's going on. So now it's lowering slowly, doing the circle at about seven millimeters deep, it thinks. Doing it again at about 13 millimeters deep, it thinks. And now doing the edge twice. I reduced the size of this piece, so we're not going to waste so much wood showing you how to do it. So, now the job's finished. So, let's do it for real this time. So, taking the controller, pressing Y plus to move away from us. Press X plus to move in sideways. Press Z minus to move down without hitting the wood. Now we need to set the Z height exactly. We're going to do that by grabbing a piece of paper. So I have my controller, I have my piece of paper, and now I'm going to press the shift button. The shift moves it from jog to step mode. So now when I press Z minus, it's going down very slowly, a tenth of a millimeter at a time. Now I press my paper under here, and I move it back and forth, and press Z minus in step mode, a tenth of a millimeter at a time, until I can feel, now I can't move the paper anymore. So now the tool is just touching. Then I press Z equals zero. It says, do you really want to do this? Do you really want to set this to the Z coordinate? I say, okay. Then I move up. Oh, sorry, shift. And then move up a bit for safety's sake. So now we're ready to try really cutting the job. So I'm going to really put on my earmuffs and press the play button. So, it looks like this. Now remember, the first multiple times you use the machine, you do need a professional employee with you, supervisor. And also, if we'd be doing for this reel, the ventilation would be on and the brush would be down so we don't get any dust out in there. And remember, you can always press an emergency stop either here or multiple places on the machine if anything goes wrong.